guys, Pirata here. Um, I'm trying. I'll show you how to work with the M5, the new M5 launcher. It's not uh, hard, but maybe some people uh, can be afraid to to use it or do something. Okay, but let's. Uh, I'll show you how to use it and what you can do with this. And so let's go. After you install it, you'll have the splash screen where you press enter, right? Here you have, you have three options. SD, where you can launch uh, the applications, uh, install applications, siding, siding, how do you say? Side load applications from your SD card. OTA, over the air installation, over the air updates, right? where you get the, the files from the M5 burner repository and configurations where we can change the brightness okay brightness and we can change to see only here is to see only now we can we'll see only binary files in the SD card so here we have the SD card interface the yellow ones are the folders right I will rename this one here. Back. Press. Long press to show the options on folders. Rename and. Okay. It is renamed. Okay. Uh, I want to delete a file. File. delete uh, I want to copy a file <clears throat> let's choose one here that will be very fast this one copy let's go to other folder and here paste it hey look it's copying it takes a while it's not a, a computer right it takes its time and it's here again binaries let's install micro hydra right micro hydra okay install and it will side load right it will it will get the file from the sd card and install to another partition in this uh card computer after that we're here Reset button, reset button, M5 launcher. If you press another key, it will go right to the last, to the previous thing you have installed. So restart, press OK, and you go to the launcher again. So binaries, and I want to install Bruce. Install. And here we wait. It is installing. Okay, install. Reset. Okay. Now OTA. OTA is a nice feature to show on these little guys here, right? Because they don't have SD card. I have my hat here. The hat I printed on my on my 3D printer and soldered things, but we'll see this working on other thing. Let's go. And I need my other network here. Just a second. Okay. OTA. Rather here to go s down double click to long press to go up press to go down press to go right long press to go left right and then we go to ok and you press and we will press m5 to to connect and here we have all the things Let's install Chrome Dino here. 
No, let's install Marauders. The Marauders I have shared. Let's see. Be more silly. Marauder. Okay. Click. Uh, here, if, if the, the app have more versions, you can choose the version here. Okay. Like Nemo that have uh, many language options. Let's see, Nemo, Nemo is, is nice. Here. English, Portuguese, English, Portuguese, Portuguese, US. And just press OK. If you have the SD card, you can download to the SD card or auto install and it will connect and download from the from the m5 burner okay uh, my usb is not uh, giving the power needed to the to the m5 so it's flickering right now but if you have full battery you won't have it won't be a problem for you but let's wait here let's let it here and wait it for install after that we have the configuration and start web ui Okay, and what this web UI does for us, it will, I will connect, we can connect into, into your network, okay, where you will put this, the, your credentials or AP mode, that is an access point mode. Look, just finished, installed. Uh, in the access point mode, it will create uh, a network and you will connect into this network, right? And by connecting to this network, you will um, into AP mode. Let's let's open here. You will connect the. There will appear a new network on your on your computer. Let me see if I can show you. The M5 launcher network. It just creates a network with this name, and or press OK to. To go back, CFG, start web UI, my network, and we will connect into the network of my computer here. Okay. And okay, it connected. This is the the, the password and the IP address you should you should access into using your browser or in this address here http two point slash slash m5 launcher dot local right and what you'll see there will be like this uh, you'll see an interface like this okay here you have the binary files all things i have on my sd card okay and this one with this little rocket here if you hit it will install so let's see this one's resus radio resus radio i'll click here and it will start installing okay and this is awesome because i didn't touch the m5 to start installation and it is stopped right let's start again because there are another feature that I want to show you let's see for the, for those who don't have SD card you have another uh, another option to install files from your computer so this is what I want to to teach you how to do that so here you have OTI install OTA and you choose your file i'll choose uh orca one here right because it have the it uses uh a file system for to work properly so it is needed to install so if you read here it will say that for some applications it ne it needs to be installed. This is the case of uh, Orca 1. 
but the others I don't know any other that really use it and here we hit start update and when you hit that it will start installing okay and let's put it here and show the things okay and here I have the spiffs update it showed me upload fail why uh let's go spiffs update it will install the please writing there's something wrong or not let's just press install again this is tricky sometimes but no problem it won't damage your <laughs> your computer or your uh, M5 stick. Let's see. Please writing. Well, let's see what happens. M5 launcher. Well, it didn't work. Let's choose another. Let's choose another. my network start session M5 launcher. Okay. Uh, ODA install and let's install Nemo. And start update. Let's see if it worked now. Well, there's something wrong happening. Let's start again. Restart. And Nemo installed. Right? It worked. <laughs> this is how we use that. That's all the things we can do. Uh, here we will have this, let's get started, let's come here again, web UI, my network, and From here you can install, you can delete files, you can rename files. Let's rename this file here. Okay, just renamed it. Uh, delete, open the folder, download files. If you have this file here in, on your SD card and you want to download to your computer, just hit download and it will download into your computer. Uh, it will show as a uh, insecure download, so you just maintain because it's not HTTPS connection. So it's all things you can do for now. See you later, guys.